Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. But before we get into it, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to all my channel members whose names are appearing on screen now. If you wish to become a channel member and support the channel, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. The first tier will get your name on screen at the beginning of reaction videos. The second tier will get your name on screen plus access to bi-weekly members only live streams. And the third tier will get you all of that plus a members only video on the weeks where I'm not live streaming. Usually these videos are life updates or get ready with me style videos but it sometimes it's recipes or training things it depends really you obviously don't have to become a member to support the channel just by simply watching uh you are supporting the channel but if you want to send a super thanks you can do so too and you can always comment like and subscribe if you wish to support the channel further now let's get into the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Leona and I'm also known as Shikar Transformations I'm an online health and fitness Coach and I'm, I said, oh, wait, fitness coach? I'm not a fitness coach, I'm a fitness coach. I'm also a bodybuilder. <laughs> uh, today we're going to look at Christy Leanne Travels. Uh, she got featured on the Fat Acceptance Movement thread by No Return. And I was just curious to see what this is all about. I see some potentially interesting TikToks to look at, but I don't know. I have no idea what she's, whether she's just a big person that travels or whether she is um, going to be complaining about things. So we'll find out together. But before we get into the video, if you could go ahead and like it and leave a comment, it would greatly help me. Um, I have had a few vlogs and stuff like that demonetized because of the fact that apparently a bikini is nudity. And it impacts my algorithm quite a lot. So if you could like the video and leave a comment, I appreciate it. Going forward from tomorrow probably, or the day after tomorrow, I'm probably going to have a hangover tomorrow. But from the day after tomorrow, I'm probably going to be in my comment sections a lot more because I'm going to start a mini cut and basically part of that will be 20 minutes of cardio after I finish training and I will use that opportunity to go through my comment sections. If you, if you like me overindulged slightly over Christmas and you're looking to start off the new year strong, then feel free to inquire about my eight week transformation program. I can help you build muscle or lose body fat. And uh, yeah, the email is in the description down below. If you email me on that, I'll send you out some information. And I do have a very interesting opportunity also coming up for five people to do a one-to-one -one coaching on a monthly basis. I'm going to call it the Phoenix Rising Ultimate. It will be more expensive, but the plans will be bespoke. Uh, there will be weekly WhatsApp check-ins or Viber, whatever you want to use, like FaceTimes. Additionally, um, it will, you will have access to my personal number. So obviously there's like that support there around 24 hours, I guess, because there's time zone differences and like I'm busy as well. So I don't have a chance to respond instantly, but I will endeavor to respond within 24 hours. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit more like a prep approach. So I'm looking for people that are serious, that are willing to commit and that people that are a bit more advanced in training. But wait for the official announcement for that so I can post about it. But that's definitely something that I'm going to announce over the next couple of days so i will be probably busy programming for the until the end of the month but that's fine i'm looking forward to doing that actually so on that note let's get into these um videos so i mean i don't know how far back to go shall we just start here maybe we start at the beginning and work our way back people be like why are you always traveling um, Well, when you travel, travel is great if you can have if you have the opportunity. I like to travel and go away and do things. Uh, I haven't done it for a long time, but I'm looking forward to doing it in uh, February actually. So uh, I'd hate to sit next to you on a plane. I mean, I can't see how big she is really, but it's it is annoying if. You are on plane seats are small anyway as it is. And if you pay for a certain space and somebody else is not willing to pay for more space because they take up more space, that is annoying. <laughs> like, you know, like people invading a space like that. It's not great, is it? So, so Christy, what's the number one tip you'd give to plus size travelers who are scared to get out there? And the tip is do it scared. I mean, fair play to her for traveling. Is she traveling on her own, though? I, <clears throat> I personally, I'm not a big fan of women traveling on their own for the simple reason that the, the world is a very dangerous place. And I think if you're a woman on your own, I think the chances of things happening to you are a lot greater. So 
personally. I, I sometimes you hear these stories of like um, 18 year olds going like backpacking and stuff like that. It's like, I mean, yeah, maybe in Europe or something. Like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there's bad people everywhere in the world, but let's be real. Some parts of the world, the quality of life has less, um, a human life has less value than other places of the world. And yes, bad things happen all over the world, but the chances of um, things happening to certain people in certain parts of the world are a lot greater than other parts of the world. And, th and that's just the reality of it. And that's nothing, uh, it's, a sh it's a shame that people are trying to equalize everything when it's, um, it, it unfortunately isn't like that. Especially in places where there is more poverty, there usually is more crime, there is more drugs, there is more prostitution. Um, a lot of it is drug related, money related. And that sort of underworld usually means that there is a lot more crime and people just don't care about human life as much, unfortunately. And in those places, you just have to be a bit more careful. And you probably shouldn't be traveling there on your own, as a I'm woman especially. Bring you down to earth for a sec. There is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. Okay. I'm gonna have to like bring you down. When you're plus size and you decide to try to spa paper underwear just in case. Um, there is no way you're getting tickets for that show, but I love your enthusiasm. Okay. I'm gonna have to like bring you down to earth for a sec. Oh right, so she basically there's... saying, thank God I'm always uh, able to keep my bikini bottoms on. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's pretty small in it. And they feel really uncomfortable as well. I've worn them before. The, the paper, the paper spa underwear. That bitch is ass for seatbelt extender. It's kind of sad you have to do that though, isn't it? Ask for a seatbelt extender. Pro tips for packing light. Meanwhile, I had to remove one pound of stuff out of my luggage at the airport. It's a bit annoying, isn't it, when airports are being like well tight on the weight limits. Especially when it's like a pound or a pound or two, then you can be obese basically. Plan your outfits, including a few backups in advance. Add a folder roll depending on the item of clothing. Wear your bulkiest outfits to the airport. Using packing cubes and storage to organize all your bits and bobs. Solid toiletries that stay way less and don't count as liquids. Wear your luggage before you get to the airport to avoid nasty surprises. I mean, like obviously he left a comment because she is overweight, but those are some good tips, I guess. That's a very small suitcase. Like I don't, I don't think I, could. I don't even think I could go away for three days with a suitcase that small. I'm not one for uh, packing light. I like to have my options and my variety. When you're plus size, and this is what your role looks like when a cabin crew announces boarding complete. I mean, that's a bonus to everybody though, isn't it? I fucking love it if I'm on the airplane and they're uh, telling me that the, you know, the plane is ready, is finished boarding and there's lots of safe sp space next to you. And you can just like chill out and like spread out and lay down and put your stuff there. It's great when it happens. A fat person ends up in the seat, I'm getting them kicked out. It's okay, she'll be dead by 45. Don't fly if you can't fit into them. In, if you can't fit then. Uh, I mean, these are mean words for sure, but they are kind of true though. Bro, how does the plane not crash with you on it? No, that's just stupid. I'd be so fucking ashamed if I couldn't use a building. I'd be so fucking ashamed if I couldn't use a building because I was so fucking fat. Travel while you can. You obviously don't have much time in the world. I mean, she's not like, she's a, she's big, but she's not like amber big. Um, but you know, you know, obviously being morbidly obese, it does reduce his lifespan. Rather go out in a Gym motivation post, gonna be dead by 40. At least she's living her life though, I suppose. She's out there doing things. I wonder how she pays for it, because that's kind of yeah. Travel is expensive, isn't it? To all my plus size friends. To all my plus size friends. This is a reminder to live your life of adventure starting from now. I mean, like, obviously, I don't know anything about this woman or what she does in, with her travel or how much she, like, explores and stuff. But it must be, uh, like, her travel would be easier as a smaller sized person. Like, that's just a fact, right? Just going about getting into places, fitting into airplanes, like travel, just the endurance of it all, seeing things, it would be easier being a smaller sized person. I mean, it's good for her that she's still going out and doing these things, but yeah, just 
I think she would enjoy the travel even more if she was smaller sized. But how heavy is too heavy? I'm just curious what their weight limit is. Um, so I don't know, there's something about something happened here from a previous TikTok, which obviously I haven't seen yet. So, but let's have a look anyway. I finally heard back from the accommodation. So I have some answers about this video. I didn't mention this in the last video, but they didn't actually give me figures when it came to the weight limits. They just told me that I couldn't use this netting and I could only use the hot tub one at a time. As you can see here, I've now got them to agree to put a sign up to say what the weight limits are and for them to include it on their website and booking.com. I also asked them what the weight limits were and they said for the hammocks it's 120 to 100. I mean, let's be real here. Of course there's a weight limit to hammocks. These things are suspended by like, like hooks. If you're going to sit in something that's suspended by hooks hanging off a ceiling or something, then yeah, obviously there is a weight limit. And I see a comment here, 120 to 150 kilos is not that much at all. 120 kilos for a human being is a fucking lot of weight. An average female probably is around 60 kilos. That's over double the weight of an average female. And like men, like even for a 120 kilo man, like unless he's buff, 120 and or extremely tall like a tall buff guy like i mean 100 if a guy is like 120 kilos if he's like for example my uncle is like six foot seven or was like he is six foot seven and he was around 120 kilos lean do you know how fucking massive he is <laughs> he's a fucking giant literally a giant of a man so yeah, if you're like just a guy that's like six foot and you're 120 kilos, unless you're like built like Big Rami, you're fat. So you're, oh, I mean like Big Rami's so unhealthy though. But the point being is, is that unless you're like 120 kilos, even for a man is big. There's no denying of it. Like, I don't care how tall you are, you are big. And um, that's crazy. But I am, it's kind of interesting about the whole, um, about the hot tub. The rooftop hot tub is 150 kilos. Like, I'm surprised by that. Like, I would have thought that a hot tub could handle more than 150 kilos. Because I would imagine a hot tub can handle a couple of people. Like, I guess they're maybe averaging like 75 kilos. But 75 kilos is kind of like, I guess, average. So basically, it can handle two small, small human, smaller human-sized humans. Human-sized humans. And this is what their contractor has told them. I did question the hot tub weight because it means that if there are two people in there, they could only be 75 kilograms or less each. So they're going to get back to me on that one because they weren't too sure if it was correct either. I'm really glad they've decided to add this information to their booking.com page as well as our website because it means that people hopefully won't make the same mistake that I did. And I really hope that this starts to become... Look, I can understand about... The oh, right. I can see that now. Oh, yeah. But look at that roof, though. That's like a, a roof made out of like... Okay, yeah, obviously... Like, that makes sense. That roof looks like, uh, like not made of, like, solid material. That looks like it's, um, oh, fetched. It looks like a fetched roof. Oh, sorry, guys. After I woke up, I went, I fell asleep last night after the live stream and the, and the wine and the champagne. And then I woke up really early. So, but, um, yeah, this looks like a fetched roof. So I imagine that doesn't have an awful lot of, um, support. So that makes sense that the, 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 the hot tub can only carry a certain amount of weight. Um, and as for the hammock, I mean, that's obvious. Like, I don't understand why that's even a question. Like, obviously a hammock, unless it's been held up with, like, industrial cables, a hammock is not going to hold a morbidly obese person. It's just logic. A standard for hotels and activities, because often it is so hard to find a weight limit. <laughs> but I suppose she's kind of right. Like, it might be worth... Uh, worthwhile adding in the weight limit, you know, just because people don't think about these things. Not everybody has common sense. Reasons buying. Uh, girl, yes, buy those extra seats. Reasons, reasons, reasons buying an extra seat. Reasons buying a second seat as a plus size person isn't always possible. Uh, pause to read. It it costs a lot, especially uh, if you have to pay to allocate your seat. And not everyone can afford to do this. Uh, some airlines overbook flights. And so there is a chance your second seat could be given away. There are planes where the armrests don't raise. Making the second seat useless in terms of comfort. Airlines don't make it clear how to buy a second seat. And customer service agents often don't know it's an option. People move around the cabin and will sit in comfort seat if it's empty. And uh, it can be. 
And it can be hard to say sorry, I've booked this for myself, if you're nervous. Fuck that, if you've paid for it, no way, I'll be like, no, I've paid for this. Can you sit somewhere else, please? Like, no, I, this is my seat, I paid for it. Whether you like, like, it's nothing to do with comfort, you've paid for it, isn't it? It's never just easy to just book two seats. Look, I, I get with some of the, some of the things she's saying is true about the overbooking and you can't necessarily, like, allocate out seats. But then, you know, like, I don't know, in a way it's, it's kind of, um, you kind of have to, it's a risk you kind of have to take in it because it's like it is unfair if some if you both if both people buy a space which, which is essentially what you're doing but you're taking up somebody else's space that somebody else has also paid for that's not right that's not fair on them either so like i get it's a struggle <clears throat> and there's not always a guarantee maybe that you'll get two seats next to each other or maybe it's extra cost but then like why why would i have to why should i pay also a premium price to have my space invaded they're like, that's not fair on me. If I've paid the same, if I've also spent a lot of money for it per ticket, it's not fair for me to have an uncomfortable plane journey or have to have literally my physical space invaded because for just because somebody else is um, taking up sp more space than they technically should. So let's have a look at the comments here. This is it, everybody. If you want to... As beautiful as this accommodation is, it's one of those moments where I wish I'd done my research beforehand. Oh, so this is what we saw earlier about the, the hammock and stuff. The main reason I booked was because of this floating net over the jungle and the hot tub on the roof. I mean, look at that netting, obviously. Obviously, like, that's not meant... <laughs> I won't even fucking get in there, to be honest, but, like, that is clearly not meant for fucking large people, isn't it? Like, it's no way, that's like, it's just a few threads hanging together. I would not get in that. I wouldn't even trust that to hold 150 kilos. We could only use the hot tub one person at a time because there was a weight limit. While I totally get that weight limits are there for a reason, I probably wouldn't have booked this if I'd have known this beforehand, because- It is very beautiful though, like wherever this is, it looks amazing. Because it kind of dampened the experience for me. Wait, what's wrong? I need to talk to a- You find the world's smallest airplane toilet. Fat person. Wait, what do you need? I need to talk to a fat person. I mean, airplanes, airplane toilets are always small, and they like, that looks like a pretty normal, air, normal airplane t toilet to me, from my experiences. Treated myself to a new tattoo in Bali and decided to get something that reminds me of what I want to be. I. Oh, I mean. Each to their own. It's, it's not my taste in tattoos. Uh, I don't think it's a particularly nice tattoo, but there you go. It's her tattoo. It's her body. If she's happy with it, that's all that matters. It's just a taste thing. Sadly though, when you weigh this much, traveling becomes more about seeing things and not doing the things. It looks like she's doing some things, that's for sure. But, I mean, a lot of the things she's doing is not really like... I think the point is, it's like going hiking, exploring and doing stuff like that, when she's kind of not doing so much, much of that, hey? A little bit. Okay, Vain. I mean, she's uh, she is traveling and she's seeing some amazing places in the world. I'm kind of jealous, to be honest. I wish I could do stuff like that. And I technically could, but it's not so easy when you have got dogs and stuff, you know. And obviously it's expensive as well. <laughs> I don't know where we'll get the money from. <laughs> Plus size hack for those flying in the aisle seat. I used to get the, uh, I use your hack for the armrest in the aisle, uh, and it's a game changer. In the aisle seat. Did you know that on some planes you can lift the armrest in the aisle seat? All you have to do is look for this little button here, press it, and then lift up the armrest. It gives you that extra little bit of comfort, which is always needed. Size flight Fair hack enough. for those. I could have my yeah, but you'll look better in all of your pictures if you do. If she what lost weight, being thinner does not equal better photos. All right. Uh, I mean, that's just that's just a personal preference, isn't it? Like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer somebody to be? Do you find it more appealing to your eye to watch somebody with a smaller body or not? Like a lot of people do, unfortunately. So I wasn't expecting this video to get quite as much as attention. Sure, because walking across the Great Wall of China is just as fun. 
doing it out of breath versus not quit lying to yourself as it has but i'm really glad that it did because it's something i'm very passionate about of course because of the amount of views that it has it means that there are quite a few comments that just don't get it one of the main things that keeps popping up is that it would be a lot easier and a lot more fun if i was traveling in a smaller body i have a lot of thoughts about this so i wanted to do a little video all right look we'll finish with this one because i'm curious to see what she has to say about that while I 100% agree that traveling in a smaller body is easier, it doesn't mean that I can't do it or make adjustments that make things a lot more comfortable for me. Fair point. Fair point. At least she's acknowledging that it will be better. and he, it, At least she's acknowledging that it will be easier. Whether it's asking for a bigger chair, getting a seatbelt extender or going at your own pace, there are things you can do to make traveling comfortable. As for having more fun goes, I've travelled in a smaller and a larger body and there is no difference between the amount of fun that I have. I guess fun is just determined by how you approach it with uh, the mindset that you have, right? So the fun side of it, I can see like doesn't really make too much of a difference whether you're big or large, as long as you decide to have fun. But I'm guessing like because you're more likely to be comfortable, you're probably more likely to have fun. Maybe. Who cares if I'm out of breath while I'm walking the Great Wall of China because... I'm walking the Great Wall of China. Travel is fun no matter your size. Uh, I mean, she's got some fair points. Anyway, not as controversial as I was expecting it to be. I mean, she's kind of honest and open about the fact that, you know, things could be better if she was in a smaller body. So there's that. But anyway, I'm going to go, guys. Enjoy the remainder of your Christmas. Please do like the video. And drop a comment if you can. Also, insert a airplane emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.